This is the future. Hello, my fellow Dream Chasers. It is I, Kenzie Retro, the original Dream Chaser, and welcome to the start of this run of Kenzie Retro's Top 10s, where I pick a topic and I rank the top 10 from worst to best. Now, what is going to be the topic of discussion for this opening top 10 of the year? Well, what we have in store is uh, something I am sure you guys are no stranger to at this time of year. Top 10 games of 2019. Now, a few things to go over, as I often do. I have got to, I've got to, set, set, got to set some rules to ensure that the list is... Um, is fair for everybody. First off, the game has to have had a 2019 release date. Number two, it has to be games that I have played so that I can actually give you an honest opinion on those games. And number four, I'm not including ports from other systems. Um, I'm not including ports from other systems, remasters, all remakes, which does sadly rule out the Resident Evil 2 remake. Calloused, I know, but it's very clear in the rules that I have had this rule since I started doing top 10 games of the year that I do not include remakes and I have every intention of keeping it that way. Yes, I am aware that the gameplay has changed significantly in the Resident Evil 2 remake from the original, but... I have clearly just stated it, I do not include remakes, so Resident Evil 2 will not be on this list. I'm sorry, but those are the rules I have to go by. And I am not lifting that, I am not lifting that rule at, I'm not lifting that rule in any capacity at all. No matter how good the remake is, I don't care what people say, I'm not including remakes. And I'm also not including Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel because that's a remaster. And uh, with uh, with the BS that uh, Activision pulled with uh, the uh, post-launch microtransactions after the reviews were um, published. Yeah, congratulations Activision. You now officially hate Crash Bandicoot. Just get the, get the Crash Bandicoot license off them, please. Because that's all they're interested in. You're only interested in the money. But anyway, let's not worry about that. Let's go into the top ten. Number ten to start off proceedings, Dirt Rally 2.0, the latest in the Dirt Rally franchise. I mean, there's not really much else I can say apart from... Um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, not many major changes from what I could find, but um, still, it's a it's a good blast. If you like your rally games, uh, this is one I definitely recommend. Number nine, Apex Legends. That's and this is the latest addition in the battle royale genre. Goodness me, everything's plagued by Fortniteus. That's that's actually a term that one of my friends uh, coined, Fortniteus. That every game has for as uh, battle royale at this point. Even Forza Horizon 4 has a battle royale mode. Oh, mama, why? But um, but nevertheless, it's uh, it's definitely a more unique battle royale experience where you've got uh, a team of three, you, you and two other squad mates, and uh, basically to be the last team standing. Number eight, it is Crackdown 3. I was going to put this higher, but um, after, 
after getting so far into the game, I've kind of it's kind of just like dropped off the radar for me. It's mm, it's a bit of a letdown that the whole destructive environment that was um, that was so heavily marketed. Where is it? It's nowhere to be seen. Number seven uh, it is uh, the latest from Niantic, and it is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Well, uh, I enjoyed this more than I have with the uh, previous three games that I mentioned, but uh, the problem here is uh, the timed events, they're like, they're very strict on those timed events, and uh, if you can't complete the uh, timed events, tough luck. You ain't getting all you you ain't getting the timed exclusive uh, uh, items. I mean, surely they would have. At l surely they should have at least. Um, surely they should have at least. Uh, done what Pokemon Go did, and once you start a quest line, you are able to finish the quest line, but not in Wizards Unite, apparently. Number six, Lego Movie 2. Oh, goody gumdrops, it's another Lego, it's another Lego game. It's, uh, well, it's, it's, it's a tie-in to the second Lego movie. This one's gonna get stuck inside your head. I was literally watching that, like, about a week ago. And it is... It def... I mean, the Lego games definitely capture the spirit of... The, uh, the movie counterparts, be it uh, Lego Incredibles from 2018, or the Lego Harry Potter collection, which, um... Which I've got somewhere, if I can... Find it. Hang on a second. I think I've sussed out where Lego Harry Potter is. I think I've sussed out where Lego Harry Potter is. Now that's a Sussex Creed 2. Um, oh, flip me, Lego Harry Potter, where have you gone? Uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Ah, oh, flip. Don't tell me I've misplaced Lego Harry Potter, of all things. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Um. Flip. How have I got a misplaced Lego? There it is. There it is. <laughs> there we go, folks. Lego Harry Potter. <laughs> I mean, I started Harry Potter the, the, I started the Philosopher's Stone, and oh my word, I was laughing all, I was laughing all the way through, and <laughs> it was, and uh, I actually got this alongside Final Fantasy VII, which I'll be, which I'll be getting started uh, tomorrow. For throwback Thursdays. Uh, yes, I'm finally playing Final Fantasy 7, folks. I will be streaming it tomorrow. Don't worry. Um, uh, bearing in mind, I'm recording this. Oh, no, wait, hang on. Today's Tuesday, isn't it? No, oh, today is Wednesday. Um, uh, bearing in mind, folks, um, I'm recording this video on the Wednesday. So I'll be doing Final Fantasy 7 tomorrow but it will already be up on my channel by the time this video goes live complicated system i know but um yeah i'll be streaming final fantasy 7 during the day and this this video will be live on my channel tomorrow
Okay, got it, sorted, good. Number five, Gears 5. Oh, man, oh man. Oh, Gears 5. <laughs> oh, you never disappoint. You never disappoint. At long last, I finally have a Gears game in my top 10 games of the year. Because I did manage to get Gears 4 part of the... Uh, I did manage to get Gears of War 4 for um, my top 10 games of 2016, I believe it was. I believe it was 2016 it came out. But anyway, um, yeah. Chaos, Carnage, All Out Action... And the, and the launch trailer song, Amy Lee from Evanescence, The Chain. Her version of The Chain, originally by Fleetwood Mac. I mean, need I say more beyond that? Number four, and it's the latest offering from From Software, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. A lot of people put this as their game of the year. And it's easy to see why. Uh, a lot of it, uh, there's... Um, there's a bit more emphasis on uh, on timing and uh, reactions and whatnot, but um, but it definitely stays true to the uh, uh, Soulsborne formula of um, difficult bo difficult fights to um, progress through the game. And my word, it, it looks visually stunning. Number three, Brian Tyler! <laughs> of, I mean, of course, it's the inevitable Formula One entry, and it's F1 2019. Now, why is this so high up on the list? Well, let's put it this way. Why it's so high up on the list is because they've, they've actually included Formula Two as part of the game now. And they actually have a league. They actually have a league system in there as well, where you can set up your own um, F1 leagues, which is which is very handy for um, for those that um, for those that uh, do like uh, the competitive edge. And uh, there's a ca and the cal the calendar feature in it as well that allows you to keep up to date with the um, with when the next uh, league race is. It's it's a great package, um, and uh, in a re in a in a patch towards the tail end of last year, they managed to uh, include the 2019 Formula Two uh, roster, which. Uh, Includes uh, Mick, Michael Schumacher's son, Mick Schumacher, and uh, the late Antoine Hubert. R.I.P. Antoine. Uh, now, if you're not sure, if you're not sure on what happened, uh, there was um, there was a massive accident at, during the uh, feature race for Formula Two in Belgium. The race was red flagged, it wasn't going to restart, and the sprint race got cancelled, meaning there was no points that weekend for the Formula 2 uh, uh, for the Formula Two championship. Uh, Nick de Vries won the championship, and he's now in uh, Formula E. I was, really hope I was really hoping I was going to see him in Formula 1, but hey ho, not much I can do about that. But, um... It's, uh... But at the end of the day, um, but at the end of the day, if you're an F1 fan, definitely, definitely get this game while you can. Number two now, it's uh, it's an independent game. Uh, I believe it's independent. I might be wrong on that one, but it's a Plague Tale: Innocence, set during the um, I believe it was the Black Plague. Um, where you've got um, where you've got a sibling relationship. They're trying to find, uh, trying to find their 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 mum, and um, all hell breaks loose when you when 
when the uh, when the world they're in is infested by rats, and it is very unsettling when you play it for the first for the first time. And like I say, like I say, this is this was uh, caused by the black. This was all down to the. This ended up resulting in the black plague. And it, like I said, it's it's very unsettling, but uh, a very emotional ride. At the end of the day, as well. So now let's go through some honourable mentions. We have another independent game that I've played thanks to Xbox Game Pass Supermarket Shriek. The game mechanics are: you've got the triggers. Uh, where well you've got uh, a human and a goat, I think it's a goat, um, that uh, control the turning and uh, forward momentum of the uh, of the trolley, and you're on the um, and you have to get through all these supermarket themed levels. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, next up, you've got Super Mario Maker 2. It's uh, just as creative, if not more creative, than the first. Super Mario Maker game, not much else needs to be said beyond that. Fort Boyard, another tie-in game based on the highly successful um, uh, game show back in the 90s. Where you go to Fort Boyard, you take you take on the challenges, uh, you get the keys, you get, cl you get clue words, you get the code word. And then you release the gold. Jack the door! Then you've got Wreckfest. Oh my word, Wreckfest. This is just... Uh, uh, it pretty much does what it says on the tin. Wreckfest. You just try and wreck everything in your way. A lot of chaos and a lot of fun. Uh, Monster Energy Supercross 2. It's the latest in the... Uh, it's the latest entry in the, uh, in the series where uh, it's uh, Supercross where you... Um, uh, Supercross bikes, basically. And then you've got... Uh, I've not played this one yet, but I'm going to be getting close to it. Uh, it's Telltale's Walking Dead, the final season. I've seen playthroughs of it, and it is a very satisfying end to Clementine's story. But it hasn't been all... But it hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows this year. There are a few dishonourable mentions as well. Devil May Cry 5, for example. Uh, reason it's uh, reason it's in the dishonourable mentions? Because I want to play Devil May Cry to play as Dante. I refuse to play as Nero. Flipping Dante wannabe. Nero should have never been created to begin with. Uh, Jump Force tutorial just felt like it dragged on forever. And, oh, Anthem, Anthem, Anthem. How the mighty have fallen. How the mighty have fallen. And again, this is all EA's fault. And apparently the game's getting a massive overhaul. Now what that's going to mean... We'll need, to, we'll need to find out soon enough. Uh, Snooker 19. Uh, one of my friends complained that the visuals looked like it was from a PlayStation 2 game rather than a PS4. I mean, and you can see, and it's easy to see why. Uh, I mean, I mean, gameplay, it's simple enough, almost too simple. It's just basically another billiards game. And then, of course, the Outer Worlds. Why is this in the Dishonorable Mentions? I just couldn't get to grips with some of the mechanics. I just could not get to grips with some of the mechanics. But anyway, Honorable Mentions out of the way. And uh, let's get a recap of the top 10 before we get to number 1. It is number 10, Dirt Rally 2.0. Number 9, Apex Legends. Number 8, Crackdown 3. Number 7, Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Number 6, The Lego Movie 2. Number 5, Gears 5. Number 4, Sakura Shadows Die Twice. Number 3, F1 2019. And number 2, A Plague Tale Innocence. Now... What could the number one possibly be? Well, for those that have been pay paying attention on my channel, will know exactly 
what game I am talking about. It's a game that we waited 12 years for. 13 years we waited for the game. And it came out at the start of the year. I didn't actually get around to playing it until about September time. But nevertheless, I persevered. I pulled through. I did a platinum run of the game. I managed to get the platinum trophy. And it is now and it's now got DLC on the way in the next few weeks. Oh, of course, I mean, what else could be I what else could buy what else could I be talking about apart from Kingdom Hearts 3? Now, I went into great detail on why this is uh, on why this is such a great game in my uh, review, which you can check out on my channel. Uh, long story short, it is such a great climax to this whole saga. But fans criticise the game for being too short in length. This is an RPG. It is designed for you to explore and take your time with. That is exactly what I did. I took my time. I went through all the worlds. I got all the collectibles. I got all the keyblades. I, I, w I did everything there was to do in the game. Leveled up to 99. Even defeated the secret boss Dark Inferno. Which is one of the coolest boss battle themes in the Kingdom Hearts series. And like I said, there's DLC on the way. And you've got the Kingdom Hearts collection coming to Xbox for the very first time. So it gives me an, it gives me an excuse to go through the games all over again and 100% Kingdom Hearts 3. Of course I'll need to get the DLC again. But nevertheless, that is it for this video. That's it for this uh, top 10. Uh, what was your game of the year, guys? I wouldn't be too surprised if some people said Resident Evil 2 Remake. Because I mean, they've probably got different rules to me, but uh, each to their own. We'll be joined by so if you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be a dream chaser like myself, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. And make sure that notification bell goes boom! Did somebody say boom? And on that note, that's all folks. Good night everybody!